Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samuel Alvarez. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the latest video I have for you guys. Ooh, where do I start? Back in March, okay, keep in mind, today's the 4th of July. So back in March, me and three of my best friends. Carolina. Kate Qualls, Noah Gibson, and Bobby Harless. Uh, we all went to Disney World for spring break together. And so let me give you like a little backstory on that trip. So my church, um, every couple of years they do like a little family trip to Disney World and they do like this thing called random acts of kindness and so they'll make like goodie bags or they'll go and do something with a charity or something well anyways i told my parents i was like we should really do this like we gotta do this it'd be so much fun and they were like <laughs> you're funny we went to disneyland paris last year not happening so i was like well can i go and they were like yeah sure if you come up with the money so um i came up with the money and i made my own family with me, Cade, Noah, and Bobby, and we went to Disney World together for spring break, and it was so much fun. So, that is what this video is about. Now, this video is four months late. So, all this stuff happened four months ago, but better late than never, right? Basically, what's going to happen in this video is the videos that I took, in my opinion, they wouldn't really, like, go together very well. Like, they don't really have any, like, structure to it it's just a clip here a clip here a clip here so what i did thank goodness so i wouldn't forget because i put it off for four months is almost as soon as i got back i went and i made a long list of everything that we did there to the specific detail just so i wouldn't forget because i knew i was going to end up putting off this video and i did so what i'm going to do is i'm going to like go through the little thingy i wrote down and then i'll have the video or the picture or photo pass picture or whatever it is that like corresponds with it like up on the screen i guess so it's like me telling the story of us going to Disney with like a slideshow going on in the background, sort of kind of. All right, so that's how this video is going to be. If you've been waiting on this video for four months, then I greatly appreciate your patience and I'm very sorry. So, Saturday, March 9th. That morning was a very rough morning for me because um, I procrastinated, but I don't do that very often, so um, it's okay. So I procrastinated the night before that. I like put off packing for a really long time. I didn't finish packing that night before. I ended up sleeping on the couch somehow. I wasn't even in my bedroom. My parents, like half of my face is illuminated with the dots. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. There we go, that's better. Okay, so my parents, they um, woke me up like literally 10 minutes before we had to leave because my alarm clock was up in my bedroom. They woke me up like 10 minutes before we had to leave and they were like, are you ready to go? And I was like, uh, no, I haven't even finished packing. So I, I packed faster than I probably ever packed in my life before. And it was rough. It was really rough because I was so half asleep. I was so waking up. I had to get all this stuff together. I didn't know what I was going to need, all this stuff. And I was just freaking out. Well, yeah, so it was a pretty rough morning, but finally got it all together, and then we went to the church. <laughs> so, on the ride there, we stopped at Zaxby's and had lunch there, and then um, I ended up sleeping most of the way because did not get a lot of sleep. Something that I remembered about the car ride is we were at this toll gate bridge thingy. Like there were a bunch of cars and they were stopping everybody and they had to pay like two or three dollars or whatever. So um, there were these people. There was a group of these guys in this car. Pretty sure they were like on some kind of drug. Like it, they were crazy like. Dude, he's got orange on him. This guy's got 
And then this one guy, like, he pulls out this whole, like, stack of money, and he's, like, showing us his money and everything. And keep in mind, there are, like, little five-year-olds up in the front row of the van, and they're, like, looking out the window, like... And their parents are, like... Just don't look, look the other way. So it was kind of really awkward, but we were laughing. Yeah, that's something I remember about the car ride. Yeah. Look, oh my God. We finally got there and it was pretty late at night. It was like eight or nine o'clock at night. So we spent like the entire day traveling. When we got to the hotel, we put all like our luggage in the room. And then we were really confused because it was supposed to be a room for four people, but there was only one bed and like there were no couches or anything. And so it was like, there was a bed and then there was like this table thingy up against the wall. And we were so confused. We were like, uh, they gave us the wrong room. And like, we were about to call like room service or something, like help figure this out or whatever. One of the other adults came in and she like picks up the table and like she does some like flippy thingy with the table or whatever. And it turns into a bed and like the bed just comes out of the wall and everybody was like, after that we decided that since all the parks are closed we would just go to Disney Springs and have dinner there and spend the rest of the night there. We stayed at the Disney All-Star Movies Resort and we stayed like in the Herbie, the one with like Herbie sticking out of the hotel. Anyway, so while we were waiting for everybody to like get gathered outside of the hotel rooms, we saw that there were a bunch of rabbits and there were, well not a bunch of rabbits, there was one rabbit and like it was just making its way and so we ended up trying to catch the rabbit and we ended up losing because rabbits are very fast. But, um, so there was that. And um, we ended up walking, okay, so we were looking for like the hotel bus stop to like take us to the Disney Springs. So we were looking for the bus stop and we ended up walking across like all the all-star resorts, like the sports, the music, movie, like we walked across all of their all-star resorts to like the farthest bus stop because we thought that like that was the only bus stop and everybody was like oh my gosh it's gonna stink having to do this every morning so um and then we realized that our resort had a bus stop and it was like just around the corner and we had just chosen not to go to it and go to the farthest one so then while we were walking through the parking lots there was some guy who like decided not to go to Disney Springs and he was going to take one for the team. He was going to go to Walmart down the road and he was going to get like anything that anybody had forgotten. Well, um, I was very thankful for him because somehow I forgot deodorant and toothpaste. And that would not have been good if I did not have those things because I mean up in Disney you get hot and sweaty and it's just bad. So he went and he got me deodorant and toothpaste. So. Really appreciate that. Your day one vlog isn't gonna be too long. Yeah, it's really not. I really don't And then uh, we went to Disney Springs and we ate at the Deluxe Burger. And we thought, okay, so I tried to do this online ordering thing and they were like, <laughs> sorry, you can't do that till you're 18. And I was like, kidding me I pay for this whole trip why can't I do it but they wouldn't let me do it and I think that's kind of ridiculous but anyways then we went to the Legos shop and because my friend Cade loves Legos and he just like did his own thing and we just kind of followed him around and we just checked everything out and they had this really cool like virtual like thingy majiga where you could get like a box off the shelf and like scan it and then it would like show up on a screen and it would like build it for you and you could like look around like you could look at it like in virtual reality and like see what it looks like in real life. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. We went back to the hotel and we slept. So that is all for Saturday. The next day was Sunday. Noah, Noah took a 40 minute shower. Not even exaggerating, not even exaggerating. That left me with like negative two minutes to take a shower. Yeah, so that made all of us late because then I was late and then I made everybody else in my group late because they were waiting on me and they were gonna leave me because they were going around. 
you know. And so we went to church at the First Baptist Orlando. They were so welcoming. Like as soon as we got out of the van, they had these people come up and they were like, hi, welcome to First Baptist Orlando. It's very nice to see y'all like, where y'all where coming from? Are y'all new here? All this stuff and they were so kind to us. And I mean like they were talking to us like they had met us before and like we were best friends or whatever, but it was so nice. And like we felt really welcome there. The church was huge. Like it was humongous. Like the church had a gift shop. The speaker for the service was a guest speaker, I'm pretty sure. I don't think she was like the main person at that church. But um, it was Hosanna Poetry and her message was absolutely awesome. And she talked about all the different names that God can give you. And I think I wrote some of them down. Or no, I didn't write them down, but I think I took a voice recording of them to where like I could replay it and like be in that moment again, if that makes sense, I don't know. But it was really, really cool and I really liked her message. Take it, hurt it, it bother you. Go get him always pooping. I'm gonna go for a water. No, 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 no. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you. What? I'll get the door. Hey, you guys please walk, man. Hell yeah, I walk. They're gonna be waiting there a long time. So. You took out my water and my green tea. No, I did. Yeah, you did. Oh, uh, what? It wasn't me. <laughs> I swear. Was it you? Uh uh, dude. No. <laughs> It I put it. In, I put it in there for it to be cold, and it's not, not even cold. It's why would I put your water when I have my own? Okay. Well, it was. It was in the bottom floor of the fridge, and you. So I got my own water too. No. It's <laughs> It was Sam. I swear it wasn't me, cause I put the stuff <laughs> okay, in the water bottle. Okay. Well, somebody took it out swear. and put it in between the fridge and that thing. Hey. It just keeps opening and closing the door. Hey. Ah! What do you call me? I'm Papa Bob. I'm Papa Bob. <laughs> Papa Bob. Oh, you're getting it. Oh, no. <laughs> After church, um, all the groups, like, they went and they did their own separate thing. And so our group, we went to Blizzard Beach, and it was so much fun. First off, it started off kind of rough because uh, we needed somewhere to put our stuff, and we didn't trust it enough to, like, just leave it there by itself. So we ended up having to split a $10 locker, which between four guys, that's $2.50. But still, I mean, like, $10 for a locker, that's pretty ridiculous. We paid for a locker and we put our stuff in it. I'm pretty sure we rode everything there, except for maybe one of the things I can't really remember, but we rode everything there. Some things that I remembered from it, uh, Noah came off the slush gusher, which is this ride that goes like that. And on the final drop, which is like this, he went like, <laughs> like, Love those sound effects, guys. He like came off and then like slammed onto the bottom and it was really scary, but at the same time it's really funny, so that happened. On the racing ones where like you grab on and you're like on your stomachs and you race, I started off real quick and I was in first place until like the very end and then I think my water thing like dried out or whatever, but mine just like stopped out of nowhere and then everybody's just kept on going, so I lost. But at the very beginning I was beating everybody, but then I did it. And then at one point we got in the Lazy River and we played a very extensive long game of tag. And it was very intense and I mean, I got like a full workout during that game because playing tag in the water, that stuff will get your heart pumping, let me just tell you. So like if you ever need a good cardio workout, go play tag in the Lazy River because so on Summit Plummet, Summit Plummet is like the main thing at Blizzard Beach and it's the straight down water slide and it's so much fun. At first, I was the only one who would do it. We all went up there to begin with, and then they were like, okay, Sammy, you go first. And I was like, okay. I went down Summit Plummet and it was so much fun. And so I turn around and I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then a girl in a blue bikini goes down and I was like, they just ditched me. <laughs> so, um. They all chickened out and let some um, blue bikini girl 
go in front of them. So um, I was very disappointed in them. After that, I got lost from them for like 15 minutes and we were all trying to find each other and I ended up having to go to this balcony that was under Summit Plummet like to get a good overview of the whole park and I was looking for them and I finally found them. And so like I started screaming and waving my hand so we found each other and then I got them to go back up. So we went back to Summit Plummet. Well, the next person in line after me was Cade, okay? And something about Cade that like, y'all probably don't know is Cade like doesn't, <laughs> he does not enjoy that kind of stuff. And so when he was like, yeah, I'll do it. I was like, okay. So he got on it and like, at first I thought he was gonna like ditch it again. And I was like, and then he got back in line and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. After that, Noah said that he would go on the shorter line because Summit Plummet and Slush Guster are like right beside each other. And so he said he would go on whichever line was shorter. Well, Summit Plummet ended up being shorter because nobody wants to ride it because everybody's scared of it. He ended up having to go on it and then Bobby didn't want to be by himself. So he had to go. That time I went first again, take one for the team. And then Bobby went and he said he enjoyed it, which actually he was a little nervous about it, but props to him because he did it and he said he enjoyed it. And then Cade went and then Noah went and everyone enjoyed it. Who would have thought? And then we all went and rode it a second time. After that, we had some more fun at Blizzard Beach and we um, stopped at this like subway place and they had these subs that were really, really good, but also really, really expensive because it was in Disney World. So it was a six inch sub for $11. $11 for a six inch sub. And then I asked for water and they gave me lemon water and almost puked on them, but it's okay. While we were at the Blizzard Beach, everyone got fried. All of us got fried and it was so bad. And like for weeks after everybody was peeling and yeah, it was pretty bad. Anyway, so we went, we went back to the resort after that. And <laughs> so I had for a snack, these Ritz crackers with like the spray cheese on it and Noah had fallen asleep he was taking a nap and I made him one and then I woke him up and I was like here have one and he was like no don't really want it and I was like no I made this for you take it and so he was like alright so he took it and he put it like on his blanket beside him well then he continued with his nap and we all ended up taking naps and um, when we woke up we saw <laughs> that Noah had rolled onto the cheese cracker and smeared it all over the bed so I mean that was pretty funny and um, we also realized that we had way overslept and it was like already dinner time by that time I'm pretty sure it's a thing where like sunburns can like make you tired or like exhaust you or whatever so um, so we overslept and it was already dinner time so then we were gonna just like find a place at the resort to eat and then we were like no, we don't want to waste it. So we got up and we went to Disney Springs again. We went to this restaurant called Pizza Ponte. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, Pizza Ponte. And they had these huge, huge pieces of pizza and they were cheap too. Like they were so cheap, not in quality, like in price. And so, I mean, we were so excited we found that place because I mean like we're teenagers, we always needed money. And so we were running low on money already because we had just paid for a Disney World trip and we found a really cheap pizza place. So that was really awesome and the pizza was so good. After that, we just hung around Disney Springs some more. <laughs> your favorite score? to the hotel again and uh there we just kind of hung out and chilled out and we were really tired because we had just taken naps so um back then the whole momo thing was um a thing yeah it was like going around the internet the momo virus or whatever it is and so i downloaded a picture of momo <laughs> i airdropped it to noah's phone like at midnight and <laughs> he like screamed when it popped up he screamed and he like threw his phone across the bed and I thought he was exaggerating but when I asked him about it later he said it had like genuinely scared him and I kind of like I believe him because like his reaction was so funny and um, then we watched okay so at Disney World 
So at Disney World, um, in the resort state, on the TVs, they have a channel that's dedicated to like just the Mickey Mouse cartoons, or that's all that they played whenever we would watch that channel, so I'm assuming that's what it is. So they would just play these, uh, the Mickey Mouse cartoons, and so we ended up watching those until like legit like two o'clock in the morning, and so once again, we did not get a lot of sleep that night. So then, day one of actual Disney parks. Monday, March 11th. Yes, thank you. We went to Animal Kingdom because that was the extra magic hours. And with Animal Kingdom, with Animal Kingdom, they don't have uh, extra magic hours at night because the animals have to go to bed, maybe. So they have extra magic hours early in the morning. So we ended up having to get up at 5.45 because we didn't have fast passes to the new Pandora Flight of Passage ride, but we really wanted to do it. So we decided to wake up really, really early and get there in time for the extra magic hours in the morning to where we could be one of the first people in line for the ride before it got too long. We worked so hard to like get there on time and be some of the first people there and it did not work at all. We were still like maybe in the first 3,000 people to get there. Clearly more people had the same idea as us. But still, we were like some of the first people in the park, so I mean, that was good. But the Pandora ride line was only for 30 minutes, and that's worth it because without Fast Pass, on like throughout basically the rest of the day, it's like three or four hours, like ridiculous amount of times. That Pandora ride was incredible. If you're going to Disney World anytime soon and you have not ridden it, ride it because it's bomb. And then uh, we rode Everest because we had a fast pass to Everest. How you feeling? I'm scared. Oh my gosh, here it is. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I don't know. You're fine, Kate. <laughs> this is my favorite ride at Disney World. For an expedition Everest. Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh! oh. Look, it's just like this the whole time. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh, put your hands on. No, I put my hands on. Look, it's a Yeti. Tommy, how you feeling? Great. Watch it. Hold on. What? Hold on. I'm so happy. <laughs> that is the best ride at Disney World. That was amazing. Oh, I'm not going to go. I'm not going again. And then um, I did single rider because Mount Everest is my favorite ride. I did single rider because it said it was going to be an hour, but I didn't care and it only ended up being like 20 minutes. And Bobby was in line with me, but then he said he didn't want to wait an hour, so he ditched me. 
but I ended up getting to ride it by myself. But it was still really, really fun and still my favorite ride. And then after that, uh, the whole group, like the whole church group came together because all of our Everest Fast Passes overlapped. So we all got to ride it together and it was so much fun. Miss Cynthia had me geeking because I don't think she likes roller coasters, so I don't know what possessed her to get on Mount Everest. But she got on it and it was the funniest thing. What was scary? Is that or Summit Plummet? That. No. Yeah. No. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. Go so crazy. So then we went to the dinosaur ride, and I had never ridden it before, but Bobby recommended it, and he said it was really fun, and I'm pretty sure we had a fast pass for it. So we got on Dinosaur, and we watched, like, the little movie at the beginning, and then the ride broke down, and so we just had to sit in that room on, like, everybody just sat in the room on the floor for, like, 15 minutes before it opened up again. Then... Like in the trucks, I was on the very edge of the truck and I'd never ridden it before. And like, whenever the dinosaurs would actually jump out, it wouldn't scare me. But the fact that the ride itself was like in pitch black, that I was so scared because I was on the end. I didn't know when it was coming and it was pitch black and there were noises all around. But it was still such a really good ride. After that, we went to The Lion King show, and The Lion King is probably hands down the best Disney movie ever made. Just an opinion, but it is. We ended up getting in line, like right as soon as they had shut the doors for the show that started. So we had to wait for like a whole show time before we could go inside. And it was hot, like very hot. And we were already sunburnt, and our drawstring backpacks were cutting off our arms. And there were fans up on the poles, but the fans weren't blowing and it was hot we were all sweating and by the time we finally got in there like i thought i was about to pass out so we finally went in there and um we had so much fun i sang every single word that they sang because i love the lion king and he's gonna show us what a giraffe sounds like ready giraffe go giraffe go i looked it up and it said a low bleaching sound kind of like a sheep know what a sheep sounds like let's try it again giraffe go
Dungeon. After that, we had a fast pass to the Navi River Journey. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> After that, we went to Hollywood Studios. My favorite park, even though it doesn't have my favorite ride, it's my favorite park because Hollywood Studios, like it actually makes me feel like I'm in California. I've never been to California. I would love to go one day, but I feel like I feel like that's what California feels like walking down the Hollywood Boulevard. You know. Look, the lady had a whole suitcase. I like how you what took had to so change long? Lines oh. three times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Noah's wristband didn't work and so we had to wait a while for him to get in and they had all the security on him and he got arrested and we had to bail him out of prison not really his wristband didn't work and so we had to wait a little while for them to figure that out and they had to like take his picture or something like that on some like tablet <laughs> Took you so long, know. Noah. That's the second time. Uh, dude, this place looks so nice, bro. So then, before we got on anything, we went to the other guys went to this other restaurant. I can't remember what it's called, but I had pizza at this place called Catalina Eddie's. Holy dump! That pizza was good, almost as good as the Pizza Ponte pizza in Disney Springs. But um, it was really, really good, and it was like right beside the Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. So. I really enjoyed that. And then after that, we went on Rock and Roller Coaster, and it was Cade's first time because Cade had been to Disney World before, but he had never been to any of the parks beside Magic Kingdom. So all the other parks were like brand new to him. And we convinced him that Rock and Roller Coaster did not have any flips or loops or course screws or any of that jazz on there. And he believed us. <laughs> And he got on it, and of course, the first thing you go on is the big loop. And so we go upside down. He's like, You lied to me! You lied to me! And he screamed that for the rest of the ride. And it was very, very funny. So after that, we went on uh, the ride Star Tours, and it's kind of like it's like a virtual reality sort of ride. I guess simulation that's what it is and you're like riding in one of the Star Wars spacecrafts and it's really really cool definitely recommend by the way I recommend all of these things I recommend Disney World overall because Disney World is just incredible all of our fast passes were in Animal Kingdom and we used them all so we didn't have any more fast passes for that day so we just kind of wandered around and did like the more kiddie rides in Hollywood Studios but hey I still loved it. We did the Alien Swirling Saucers. It's the teacups, that's what it is. It's the teacups, basically. But uh, the Toy Story Aliens, and that was really, really fun. In the line for it, there were like all these like alien spacecraft thingies that you could like play with, and we were all touching and playing with it like we were all four years old, which I mean, we are, but. <laughs> Where'd that go? Huh? Where'd that go? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> After that, uh, Kate and Noah, they went back to the hotel to rest some, and then me and Bobby stayed, and we rode Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster some more times because those are some of the best rides in Disney World.
after Noah and Cade had gone to, back to the hotel and rested some, we all met up at Magic Kingdom. And whenever we finally met up, because Bobby and I got there before Cade and Noah, when we finally met up, we like ran as fast as we could to Space Mountain during the fireworks because a little tip for Disney World, when everybody's distracted by the fireworks, that's the best time to go and ride the rides that you haven't gotten a chance to ride. So we went to Space Mountain and we rode that. Space Mountain though is one of the only rides that scares me. Not because of like the ride itself, but I'm terrified that I'm gonna like bang my head on one of the bars above me because everything is like so close. Like I raise my hands on all the rides, but on Space Mountain I'm like this the whole time. Yeah, then after that, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, after we spent some time at Magic Kingdom, we got on a bus and we went back to the hotel. So on the ride home, we were all really tired and really delirious and my feet were hurting. So I don't know why, but I like looked at Noah and I went, my feet hurt. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. We ended up saying that like for the rest of the trip. Like that was one of the inside jokes. We just look at each other and be like, my feet hurt, mow. There was one part where like the bus stopped real quick and I wasn't hanging on and so I like jerked forward like that and I almost bit Kate's head and that was funny. And then um, at the end, like uh, the bus has like different songs, like really popular songs like playing on the speakers throughout the bus kind of faintly but when we pulled into the hotel we are the champions started playing and even though it was like really really late at night and everybody was super tired everybody on the bus started singing along with we are the champions and it was just like really cool and really fun because everybody was like so that was cool after we got back to the resort uh we were really hungry so we ate at one of the resort restaurants and it was this place called roxy's it was really really good so we ate at roxy's at midnight and it closes at midnight but i'm pretty sure we got there like at 12 59 literally like not even exaggerating so i mean we were like right there there was a worker at that place and I can't remember her name, but she was from New Zealand. Well, the only other person from New Zealand that I know of is KJ Appa. And KJ Appa is like the most awesome person on this entire planet. So I asked her, I was like, you haven't by chance met KJ Appa, have you? And I mean, that's kind of a stupid question because I'm sure there's like thousands and thousands of people that live in New Zealand. And she was like, uh, no, I haven't met him, but he was on a really popular TV show back in New Zealand and also the city she's from was like really, really close to where he lived and that was like really cool. But she was super, super nice and then after that, um, I couldn't figure out, after I got my food, I went to get my drinks and I could not figure out how to get the water out and turns out I just wasn't pressing the button hard enough. But like I sat there and I ended up having to get like a worker to come over and be like, can you show me how to get the water out? Because I couldn't figure it out and he was like, and the water started coming out and I was like, <laughs> oh. And then we went back to the hotel and we watched more of the Mickey Mouse because that was like our new obsession. And then we went to bed late again and didn't get a lot of sleep again. Tuesday, the 12th, I think it is, we went to Hollywood Studios. My favorite park. The moment of truth. Yeah. Have you done the thing I Okay, excellent. Huh? I put your finger in that hole. Did you use this finger? Yeah. Uh, we got there really early in the morning and it was so annoying because we got there early and then they like opened the gates and let everybody in and then there were all these workers that were like, you shall not pass. And then uh, there was like a whole stampede to the Slinky Dog Dash, which is what we wanted to ride, but 
we didn't end up riding because there were so many people and it just wasn't worth it because with all the people trying to go to the Slinky Dog Dash, Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster had a five minute wait time. Not fast pass, standby. Five minute standby wait line. So uh, we decided to go to Tower of Terror and we rode that and it was so much fun. And then uh, we rode Rock and Roller Coaster. And while we were in line for that, I thought it would be fun to like airdrop things with like the people around me and like nobody knew who it was. So it was like funny and you could like airdrop random funny stuff. And people were like airdropping stuff back to me and it was like, some of them were kind of crazy. And then after that, we went to Star Tours again and we rode that. And then we went to Toy Story Mania. Me and Bobby were a group and then Kate and Noah were a group and then I won. Which Bobby was winning for the most part, but then I'm pretty sure I caught up and then beat him in the bonus round at the very end. Then after that, we went to Muppets 3D Vision. After that, we went to Tower of Terror and we met up with my friends, Cole, Mason, Victoria, and Maddie. You should go check out Cole's video that he made of Disney World that he posted like the day after they left because he didn't procrastinate like me. But you should go check out his video or whatever because he made one too. So, so we met up with them and we rode Tower of Terror with them because their fast pass and our fast pass lined up and so we rode it with them. And then we got on a boat and we went to Epcot and I fell asleep on the boat because I had not been sleeping very well. And that boat was so relaxing because it was so smooth like the sound of the motor there's an ice cream truck coming by and I can hear it so the sound of the motor was so relaxing so I ended up falling asleep for like the whole boat ride and I woke up when we were at Epcot when I woke up early had to use the bathroom so I went and I used the bathroom in a bar in England and then after that we went to France when we passed by there was some like acrobatic mime dude and he was like really cool and he was doing all these stunts and he had some partner. He was like getting like chairs out of the rest out of these restaurants and um, like stacking them up and then climbing up on top of them. It was really crazy and like really dangerous too. Like at some points I thought he was about to fall, but he didn't. After that, we went to an Asian grill. I saw Bella Baldo Downs and her family. So that was really cool. I got chicken teriyaki and rice and they were so good but then the salad that came with it wasn't really that good bobby somehow managed to get his fast passes to soren and so we rode that soren is a really good ride now that i think about it we wanted to get gelato but then we accidentally went to france instead of italy and so we ended up getting crepes crepes whatever you say and then we went and we rode soren because it was and then the game called Bark Time was invented. And see, Bark Time ended up getting us in trouble and that's a whole nother story. Let me explain Bark Time to you. So there was like different, it was like a whole point system. It started out with me, um, so like I'd be walking this way and then some other people would be walking this way and when we pass each other, I'd just look at them and bark at them like a dog. They'd be like, and then we just keep on walking and like, I mean, it's this world like, you're never gonna see these people ever again in your life, it's okay. You don't have to be embarrassed of anything. So we would just bark at people and we would take turns. And so we ended up doing points. I came up with it. I came up with it. But then others contributed to it. So the point system was if you waved at a random person, you would get one point. And if they waved back, you would get an extra point. So you would get two points. If you tapped on somebody's shoulder and then just walked off and pretend like nothing happened, then you would get five points. And if they looked the wrong way, you get double. You get an extra five points, you get 10 points. If you make an animal sound, because it started off with just barking, but then if you made any animal sound at somebody, then you would get 10 points, and then if they make a sound back, then you get double, which that happened a few times too. There was a couple times where I barked at somebody, and they turned around, and they barked right back at me, and I was like, if you tell somebody that you love them, and like they actually hear you, you can't just be like, hey, I love you, and they can't hear it, like, and you get 20 points, and if they say it back, you get an extra 20 points. So that is bark time. We played that for the rest of the day and for the rest of the trip. So then after that, we went to Magic Kingdom. Cade wanted to ride Splash Mountain. So um, we waited in line for two hours. It ended up being so long because the ride ended up breaking down for like a long time. People started leaving, which made the line less 
long for us. That was really nice because when the ride came back up, there weren't as many people, but it was really fun, of course. And so uh, we played Bark Time more while we were in line for Splash Mountain and then more of the rules were added, like the say I love you, wave, tap, all that stuff on Splash Mountain. Whenever we would go down, like after the big drop and you go around, we ended up getting stuck. Okay, so there's this waterfall coming out of these rocks and there was like a whole cart, pile, log, cart, whatever it is that you brought in on Splash Mountain. There was a whole pile up and we just so happened to get stuck under the waterfall. And so it was splashing all over us and we all got soaked, even more soaked than we did on the actual ride. And then we were freezing for a really long time. And then after that, Kate wanted to eat at Cosmic Ray's Starlight's Cafe. And I fell asleep at the table. Was that the same day? Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, so that was the second time that day that I fell asleep somewhere. So we ended up getting up and going to Mickey's Filler Magic. Fill Horror. Huh? Fill Horror. Fill Whatever. Yeah. After that, we went to do Mickey's Fill Horror Magic. Fill Horror Magic. And we watched that, and it was pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of a kid thing, but... And then we went to the Haunted Mansion. While we were in the Haunted Mansion, um, me and Bobby decided to play a little game. Stop! I have the sneezes. Me and Bobby decided to play a game of Bark Time, and then Noah joined in, and Cade doesn't like the game Bark Time, but we played anyways. So then he got mad at us, and he was yelling at us, and then these random people all over the room started barking. And then next thing you know, like the entire room, it was like in that room where like you're looking over the balcony and there's the whole like ghost dining room area and they're all, all having like the dinner party or whatever. Then after that, uh, we went. <laughs> so then next thing we know, all these people in the entire room are barking. Like all these random people are just barking and Kate was just sitting there like this. And it was so funny. It was a lot funnier in the actual situation. After that, we rode the Seven Dwarfs during the fireworks, and that was my first time riding the Seven Dwarfs. And um, while we were in the line for it, there were these diamonds that you could like touch and everything. And there were these games that you could play like based on touching and spinning and all this weird stuff. It's hard to explain, but like you have to be there to like fully understand what I'm talking about. When we were on the ride, I decided to record the ride, but it was dark outside, so I had to get my vlogging light and Cade was mad at the light and he was screaming at me for the entire ride because I was shining it in his eyes and it was really, really funny. So. Uh -huh. All right, hello, hey, welcome to the vlog. We've been in Disney World for almost three days now and I'm just now starting, so deal with it. Because you've been living a normal life instead of vlogging. Yeah. Wow. We're gonna be in Magic Kingdom tomorrow night, so we're not really missing the show because we're gonna watch it tomorrow. But for tonight, we're riding rides until 11 o'clock, and tomorrow we're riding until 1 o'clock in the morning. So. Shut up, y'all are idiots. Wait, so we don't go We don't go at all. No. Wait, we don't. Yeah. 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 Oh God. Oh.
Where is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's over? Hi ho! Hi ho! <laughs> and then after that we went to Space Mountain but on the actual ride like while we were going through the ride I was barking at Kate because he was sitting in front of me but he couldn't reach me and it was really funny <laughs> he was like screaming at me and he was trying to reach back and like slap me but he couldn't reach me because he was strapped in it was really funny we got in this 35 minute line 35 minutes right it's been like 10 minutes. Attention space now. Oh. Oh. Bye, Bobby. That's not really bright, is it? In the line. 35 minutes. Like it said. And we are not even close. Yeah. I'm not going to record on this ride because this ride scares me. Bye. Then after that, uh, we raced home and it was almost midnight and the resort restaurants closed at midnight and we still hadn't had dinner. After riding on the bus, we like ran as fast as we could to Roxy's. We had Roxy's again and we ended up getting there at 12.01. They still gave us food. It was really good, again, and I knew how to work the water that time. After that, we went back to our rooms and I fell asleep on the bed without changing because we were just so tired. And then, Wednesday the 13th, we went to Magic Kingdom that day. It was our last full day there, so um, we had to wear our spring break t-shirts. And so we all wore those and we took like family pictures, even though we're not a family, but we were a family. We got early morning entry to the park because we had reservations for Be Our Guest. Morning everybody. Today we are in Magic Kingdom and I'm very tired. Like I fell asleep on the bus on the way here. We got breakfast reservations at Be Our Guest. Then we just decided not to go. They were gonna make us wait in a line that went through like two different rooms so we could pay $30 for some waffles and fruit. And like I like Disney and everything, but that's just not happening. So now we're having to wait for the park to open. And we're gonna go ride Big Thunder Mountain first because we don't have a fast pass for that and the wait's gonna be really long later on. In just five minutes, all of the lands of the Magic Kingdom will be opening. So we made up a game called Bark Time. And what we do is... <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's like making a fool of yourself. First, we rode Big Thunder Mountain because that was one of the first rides we were able to get to that didn't have a long wait time. Big Thunder Mountain. Enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> 
And um, then for breakfast, we ate at the launching pad. Or wait, no, the lunching pad. <laughs> I'm just now seeing that. We had Mickey pretzels. After that, we went and we met Stitch, and I'm pretty sure that was the only character that we went and met. Stitch is one of my favorite Disney characters. Stitch kept on like playing with Bobby's hair, and it was the funniest thing. <gasps> What's up, Stitch? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, where are you going? What? <laughs> <laughs> what if we start barking at people in here? Alright. We're riding the Astro Orbiters now because Space Mountain line is too long. Prepare to lift off! Don't kill me, please. Oh! Cade, your hat fell! Cade! Whose hat is that? Is it going higher? I don't know. Oh my god. Like tilted that. <laughs> we are pretty high up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Record status? Very wet. Very, very wet. <laughs> and then after that we went to Hollywood Studios. I ate at Catalina Eddie's again and that was really good. Again. Me and Bobby rode Tower of Terror. And then there was this man. There was this man and he farted so loud in line. I mean like he tried to play it off but like he did not play it off at all and he was just like like pretend like he didn't know who it was but it was him it was so obvious and then we rode rock and roller coaster and there was this really funny Hispanic family and I was able to talk to them and they were like really funny I can't remember what they were talking about, but I just remember they were really funny and I laughed a lot. There was this shy girl that we rode in the same cart with. Like she was super shy and she like didn't talk at all like in line, but then like on the ride she screamed. I didn't have eardrums when I got off that thing. Bobby and I like, we did like a calm face picture. And then uh, we went back to Magic Kingdom. Are you looking for the book? Here's the answer to my poll. Electric. You are cadaverous betrays an aura of foreboding. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> We had a Seven Dwarfs Fast Pass and we all pretend like we were asleep on the ride. and then we went to Splash Mountain and we did the YMCA with some random people because there's like four rows and so it was like YMCA, yeah. Oh my god. Oh no, we're no, no, no. Oh, It's gonna shoot. No. All right, we're good. No, we're not. It's gonna hit every side, we're good, yeah. Ah! We're gonna be fine. Oh my god. <laughs> no! No! Ah! Yes! Yes! yes. Yeah, we didn't get wet! Come on! Wait, tell them about YMCA. No. Why? Hey, do y'all want to do YMCA on the picture? Hello? Hello? 
Then um, Cade wanted to eat at Pecosville Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. And then I fell asleep at that table too because I always fall asleep at the restaurants that Cade takes us to. <laughs> and then I woke up and I wanted to re-energize because I was still kinda, kinda like sleepy, you know? So I was like, hey, let's start a good game of bark time. And that led to the people mover incident that ended up discontinuing the game for certain reasons. I almost got kicked out of the park. Like and comment on this video if you want me to post a video on how I almost got kicked out of the park because that is a very interesting story. <laughs> and then we went to Splash Mountain. We all took pictures with our arms up with like a serious face. So then after that, uh, we went to Big Thunder Mountain and there were fireworks. The fireworks started shooting while we were on Big Thunder Mountain. So it was really cool because we'd like go over a hill and there'd be like a bunch of fireworks all over the sky and it was just really cool. Also, while we were in the line for Big Thunder Mountain, we would like leave the goodie bags for the Random Acts of Kindness mission that we did. And so we would give them to random people in the line or we would like just leave them on the rails or something for people to pick up. And it said it had like Bible verses and all that kinds of stuff in there for people to see. It's not, it's not focusing on the fireworks, but. Oh my God. We're riding Big Thunder Mountain. During the fireworks. The wait times during this week have been so long. When they get short, we might as well just take the chance. You know how many times you've said that? On the random. about that what <laughs> smile smile away you want to know a secret we went to this restaurant earlier and i fell asleep at the table also it's 9 30 and the park doesn't close until one o'clock in the morning so we still have a while and yeah and then after that we went to pirates of the caribbean after that, we went to Space Mountain. We all pretended like we were asleep and it was really fun. And then we rode Space Mountain again, but uh, we all did like a T-post with it. Everybody was scared that we were gonna like hit the side. Sarge. Everybody was scared that we were gonna like hit the walls. And so <laughs> we were all like this and we had like our arms tucked in. Currently, around. I'm talking to the camera. Sorry. Stop looking at me. I'm just gonna stare at you. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, you can be in it. So. No, I don't want to be in it. I just want to stare. At you. Stop. It's currently around 1:15 in the morning, and except for our breakfast tomorrow morning, our Disney trip has come to an end. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Alright, so hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this trip. Jesus loves you, bye. It was extra magic hours at Magic Kingdom that night, so we were really late at night. It was either one or two o'clock in the morning, so it was really, really late. So nothing was open, so we had to make ourselves dinner. So for dinner, I had stale bread, cold Chef Boyardee spaghetti, and cheese crackers, and that was my delicious five course meal. And then finally, oh my goodness, I've been talking for so long. The last day, Thursday, 
uh, we had breakfast at Chef Mickey's. It was really nice. It was like a cool way to end the whole trip. Gotta give him a hug again. All right, one more. Oh, kiss him on the head. Hey, Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> right here. One, two, three. And then, oh, he rode back to the resort. Mr. Rob kept on messing with Miss Erica, his wife. She said, if you do that one more time, I'm gonna shove this candy wrapper up your nose. And he did it one more time. And so she shoved a candy wrapper up his nose. <laughs> <laughs> she put it so far up his nose that like he couldn't reach up in there and get it. And so whenever we got off the bus, he had to like plug one nose and like shoot it out like that. And it was really funny. And then also there was this one kid who was sitting on the front of the bus and out of nowhere, he just starts vomiting everywhere. And then he, he and his mom get off the bus, but then like as the bus like drives, like the vomit is like going down the bus like towards we us. We don't need that information. I didn't ask you. It's like coming towards us and so like we're getting up and moving closer to the back of the bus to try and get away from all the vomit coming towards us. Mr. Rob started singing to the tune of Take Me Out to the Ball Game and it's the story of the kid vomiting. <laughs> and he said, then it's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and we were all laughing. And then we all went to Disney Springs to shop and have lunch on the ride home. I was just like in and out of sleep the whole way home. And then we ate at Dairy Queen and I forgot how nice it felt to have a meal that wasn't $30. He's good. I'm finally done. Holy dump. That was a lot of talking. So, finally made this video. So to all the people who are waiting on me to post this video, I'm so sorry that it took so long and I greatly appreciate your patience. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you watched it to this point, if you watched this whole long daggum video, Comments. Yeah. Rex! Comment Rex! <laughs> from the pound! <laughs> <laughs> okay, comment Rex if you watch this whole video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment if you want me to stop. Comment if you want me to do any other type of video. Make sure to subscribe because that'd be really awesome. Jesus loves you. Bye. Oh! <laughs>